From my perspective, in terms of advice, there's so many different aspects to a career in arbitration. And I should preface everything by saying that my career came up in arbitration. I was not a litigator first. So it's been a very focused career up until now, which I think has advantages and disadvantages. And one of the reasons I joined the HKIC was to expand my skill set to expand my resume, if you like, into an area that wasn't just private practice arbitration. Uh, in terms of what young lawyers can do, I think the most important thing, I think, and this is speaking from my own personal experience because I am an impatient person, is that it's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, even in private practice, there, I had, I was part of many conversations, which was all about becoming an arbitrator, getting your first appointments, moving on to this illustrious career that being an arbitrator most certainly is. But I think it's important for people to remember that you, you do need to establish some fundamental skills before you can do that. You don't want to go into arbitration as an arbitrator too early and not have the skills to do the job well because as everyone always says, you never get a second chance to make a good first impression. So I do think it's important. Yes, everyone's excited to become an arbitrator. I was no different, but put in the hours as counsel, learn to draft, learn to structure well, learn to be detail oriented, precise, do the, do the groundwork, seek advice, seek, your, seek out mentors, mentors for yourself, people who will help you, people who will champion your career and everything else will flow from that. You just need to be patient.